What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek. And today we're talking about Power Automate and Excel Online Business Connector. And we're gonna look at the action, which is get a row. So get a row allows you to search through and find a row of data inside of your Excel spreadsheet that may be stored in your OneDrive for Business or your SharePoint site, and then allows you to get information about that row back. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in my uh, flow here. I've got an Excel for uh, Excel online business flow with a manual trigger. We don't need to trigger this based on anything, so we're just going to trigger the flow. Next, we're going to click on new step, then go to Excel online business, then choose this action, which is get a row. At this point, it asks me for several pieces of key information that is or required information that it needs. So it's asking me for location, document library, file, table, key column, and key value. So let's take a look at each one of these. So firstly, we have the location. So this is going to be your OneDrive for Business or a document site in, or document library inside your SharePoint sites. So the first thing he's asking me for is like, where is this? In my instance, I'm saving all this into OneDrive for Business, but you could also save this into a SharePoint site. So the OneDrive for Business is the one at the top, the rest of them are groups, and the groups are based on my SharePoint groups or my Microsoft or Office 365 groups that I've created when I've created those SharePoint sites. So in this instance, I'm just going to choose OneDrive for Business, but you could also choose SharePoint. At this point, it asks me for the document library. Now again, if I was using SharePoint, I would have a multiple, I would have a list of all the document libraries available inside of that SharePoint site. I'm using OneDrive for Business, so I don't have those. I do, however, have two different options for OneDrive. Both of them go to the same place. I'm not really sure why there's two. Um, if you know the answer, let me know down below. Uh, we can choose either of these. It'll be fine. We'll choose that one. And you can see it kind of resolves to say OneDrive. Next, we need the file. So I'm going to use the File Explorer here. Uh, oh, no, I uh, guess I've chosen the wrong uh, one, wrong OneDrive. I guess I need to choose top. There we go. So now I choose File. Uh, it says select an Excel file through the browser. So I'm going to cl click on the picker and then go down to Power Automate. And then I have a file in here called Flowbook. At this point, it's asking me for a few pieces of information about the data that we're looking for inside the table. Uh, inside the, the spreadsheet, sorry. So we need a table, the key column, and the key value. For this, I'm going to flick over to my spreadsheet to take a look at that. So this is my spreadsheet. It's saved in OneDrive for Business in that location. And this is a table inside of a sheet that we've got. So we have this table here, which is called Table 1. And inside this table, I have four columns. I have name, age, occupation, and AKA. Um, and each one of these contains a row of data um, relating to a comic book character. So we have Wally West, John Stewart, John Jones, Diana Prince, Arthur Curry, and Bruce Wayne. Um, so each one of these I can look through and maybe get a piece of this data out from the um, from the connector and from the action inside Power Automate. So the table is this one, table one. The Key, uh, key column is these column names here, name, age, occupation, and AKA. And the key uh, identifier, I think it's called, key value, sorry, key, key value, is whatever matches that column and this row. So what identifies this piece? So if I chose age, for instance, and I want to select John Stewart, I could, I could put 39 into that indicator and it's going to find John Stewart and it's going to give me these, these details back. So let's try that. Let's go age, 39, and pull that record back. So we're back to our flow. Let's choose a table. This will give you a list of all the tables that are inside your, your Excel uh, spreadsheet. So in this instance, I only, I only have a single table, which is called table one. So we'll choose table one. Then key column, uh, we're going to choose that age. Uh, and then I think it was 39. 39. It's John Stewart's age. So 39 into the key value. So it's going to look up that table. It's going to look up that column. It's going to look up the row where that value matches 39. It's going to give us all the data back from that row. So let's test this out. Let's click on test. Save and test. I'll perform the trigger action. 
we will hit run flow click on done we see the flow run successfully and then we can look at this and we can see this is what we this is the data we put into it and this is the data we got out of it so we've got the name john stewart got the age 39 which we knew got the, the occupation marine retired we got the also known as green lantern and we also get it in a json format as well so we have the audit context which is like the i guess the azure resource that is where the file is actually stored and everything with all that fancy um with all the the different text in there uh, don't, you can break it down if you really want to but i don't think it really makes much of a difference um we have the name john stewart we have the age we have the occupation and we have the also known as so it returns a json uh, block to you uh, but also gives you these these pieces in here meaning that we can also use that in in other parts of the flow so after this i could say hey find me this row return me this email address from this row uh, and we're going to send an email to that person that meets meets this criteria um, so we could use something like this and uh, maybe you store some uh, friends birthdays or family members birthdays in your in an excel spreadsheet and inside your onedrive and you could have a thing that says hey when the birthday equals today's date uh, you know run the flow daily check to see if anyone's birthday is within the next seven days if it is within the next seven days um get me uh get me their email address and i can or get me their name alert me and then we'll send them a moon pig card or something like that so loads of different ways to use these connectors and loads of different ways to use these actions as always i want to know what you guys use these for i'm always wanting to learn always wanting to find out new things so let me know in the comments down below what you use this for at the moment if you enjoyed this video if you could like and share it with your friends that would be much appreciated if you've not already hit that subscribe button and stay up to date with all my latest videos and i'll see you next time